Scope of Physics Dear students, Till now you have learned about the introduction of physics. Now let us move to further details and understand the scope of physics. The scope of physics is vast. To understand it, we need to study its subdomains. Basically, physics is divided into two subdomains. Macroscopic and Microscopic. These are differentiated based on magnitude of physical quantities. Some physical quantities are length, mass, time and energy. Macroscopic Domain If the magnitude of physical quantities is large, then all such quantities comes under macroscopic domain. For example, study of terrestrial and astronomical bodies, forces and their applications, temperature and energy. More specifically, the disciplines that comes under classical physics such as mechanics, electrodynamics, optics and thermodynamics are all belongs to macroscopic domain. Let us see these disciplines one by one. Mechanics It is the branch of physics that is founded on Newton's laws of motion and the law of gravitation. It deals with study of motion of a body, rigid and deformable bodies, and general systems of particles. Some typical problems of mechanics includes speed, distance and time problems, equilibrium of bodies under action of forces, propagation of water waves and sound waves, etc. Electrodynamics Electrodynamics is a branch of physics that deals with electric and magnetic phenomena that are linked with charge and magnetic bodies. Scientists like Coulomb, Oersted, Ampere, Faraday and Maxwell contributed in this field. Some problems of this field includes motion of current carrying conductor in magnetic field, working of antennas, propagation of radio waves in ionosphere, etc. Optics You are familiar with optics. You have studied various phenomena of light in class 10. All these are included in optics. Some problem of this field includes Propagation of ray of light through different media Colors exhibited by rainbow in sky Working of microscope and telescope, etc. Thermodynamics It is the branch of science that deals with heat and temperature and their relation to energy and work. Some problems in this field includes efficiency of heat engines and refrigerators. Now let's start with microscopic domain. 
If the magnitude of physical quantities is minute, then all such quantities comes under microscopic domain. Here, we study the structure and constitution of matter, atoms and nuclei and their interaction with electrons, photons and other such particles. Quantum theory is currently accepted as the proper framework to explain the microscopic phenomena. So friends, to conclude with, till now you have understood that the scope of physics is vast. It covers wide range of physical quantities, large scale, as well as minute scale.